many of these unique sign languages are very fragile forms of knowledge that can be lost or destroyed unintentionally. What are the main challenges to preserving languages? All right. I am definitely not a linguist, so I'll start with that. But it is clear most of those languages do not have a written form. They are signed languages, so they are expressive, but they do not have a written form, so there's not documentation of that. Also, Charles Riley was stating that more than half of the world's languages are in danger of extinction in the near future. It's not just sign languages that are facing that, but each language group that tends to have its own language. And for signed languages, those tend to be very small groups, and as we get fewer and fewer users of each of those languages, they tend to get lost. Instead of focusing on that kind of bad news, I want to tell a quick story from South Africa. About 15 years ago, we were doing work in South Africa with a group that had been set up just after apartheid. And we were trying to help the deaf community there establish itself and get organizations started. And there was amazing diversity within the group of deaf South Africans. There were Afrikaans people, there were English speakers who were white, English speakers who were black, tribal representatives with all kinds of different languages. So within a room of 100 people, there were 10 different languages represented and multiple ethnic groups. And so we were trying to talk about how to move forward with deaf organizations without offending any of those different unique groups of people and trying to respect and incorporate all of their backgrounds. And even they could not communicate with each other, much, much less us communicate directly with them. So that was 15 years ago. But if you fast forward to this year, South Africa just hosted the World Federation of the Deaf Convention with people from all over over the world, countries all across the world coming, being represented there. And South Africa has a member of parliament who represents deaf people as well. So you think about the sophistication that's happening with language and language rights and respect within South Africa and just the amount of change that has happened in recent recognizable history, talking about 15, 20 years. It's amazing to see what can happen with language and language preservation. Joe Murray. And I do think that it's very important to remember that sign languages are human languages. It's not just uh, languages of deaf people, it's languages of human beings. There are communities around the world, uh, specific islands maybe that are a bit isolated or those that are more rural. Um, those communities may have a very small percentage of people who are deaf and yet the whole community signs. So it isn't only the deaf people in that community that are signing, but the whole community. And um, even back to Plato's time, sign language was recognized as a human language. So um, now we have American Sign Language, we have um, various sign languages around the world, um, and it's important for us to officially recognize those languages. So there is an institute that is um, established for the recognition, promotion, and preservation of those particular sign languages. Oftentimes, sign language is promoted through education, and this, uh, the UN Convention expanded that, um, you know, the re opportunities for research on sign languages around the world, opportunities for uh, research on various cultures, of uh, passing on cultures to, from one generation to the next. And um, it really varies from language to language and country to country on whether that sign language will be preserved or not. And it also um, is dependent on the law of the land of that country and whether that sign language will be preserved or not. Um, so some countries will have uh, specific laws that are really promoting the preservation of that language and some aren't. So it is incumbent upon each 
community to really promote that idea of this human language that is um, in each of their regions.